So we'll try to do some word problems involving two variables. And in these set of problems which I'm taking, we'll have just numbers. And the idea here is to understand the method and do some problems for practice. And then we'll move on to two variable problems involving age, percentage, that means mixture problems, time and distance. And I hope by the end of this series, you'll be perfect in solving word problems. Here is the one, very simple one for you. Let's follow the steps and do it in a nice way. The question here is, the sum of two numbers is 90. The difference between them is 18. Find the numbers. So when you read a problem, it is always good practice to read it at least twice. And when you read the next time, you should think about what could be the variables which we need to define and how are they related. So that is the idea while reading for the second time. So let's read it second time and understand the variables involved. The sum of two numbers is 90. When you say two numbers, that means there are two variables. We don't know what numbers. So we say let the numbers be x and y. So we got two numbers. So that is the first statement. Always define your variables with a let statement. Now read the problem to find the relation between these two numbers. The sum of two numbers is 90. That means when you add them, you get 90. So let's write down our equation, which says x plus y equals to 90. So that is our first equation. So once you get your equation, write a number besides it. So you know, well, this is my equation number 1. So we'll write this as equation number 1. Now read further. It says, the difference between them is 18. So these are the two numbers. Difference between them is 18. Let's assume if x is bigger. So you'll write x minus y equals to 18. So we get our second equation. So we'll number it. So well, this is my equation number 2. So here I'm writing equation numbers. You'll appreciate writing equation numbers help you to communicate, right? So, we have two equations and two variables. Remember, to find two variables, you need two equations. If you have them, you can solve for both the variables. Now, using these two equations, let's try to solve for x and y value. As you can see, if I add equation 1 and 2, I will eliminate y. Correct? Because plus y minus y, when added, will give me 0. So that's a good idea. So what we will do here is, we will add equation 1 and 2. So what I'm trying to do here is, I will do add equation 1 and 2. That is the step which I'm going to do. So when you add x and x, you get 2x. When you add y and minus y, it's 0. So just forget about it. And add this number. 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 1 is 10. So you get 108. You can use calculator at this stage, right? Now, 2x is 108. How will you find x? By dividing both sides by 2, right? So when you divide by 2 here, you are left with x. We so get x equals to 108 divided by 2. So we are basically solving for x. Now you can use your calculator to find the answer. 108 divided by 2, it gives you 5 and 4, right? 54. So you got the answer for one variable, right? So half the problem has been completed. Now you need to find what y is. Now to find y, what we should do? We should again go back to our equation, right? That's a good idea even to number this. And that is your equation 3. Equation 3 gives me value of one variable. Now to find the value of another variable, I can always substitute this in one of the equations and find what y is, right? So let's use the first one, which is x plus y equals to 90. So what I'll do is I'll substitute 
3 the value of x substitute x from 3 in equation 1 so that is what I will do so x value is 3 54 in equation 3 which are substituted in equation 1 equation 1 is x plus y equals to 90 instead of x I am going to write 54 so I get 54 plus y equals to 90 now I have one variable I can solve for y so y is equal to 90 minus 54 again at this stage you can use calculator and figure out your answer so when you do that you get 90 minus 54 so when you borrow you get 8 here and 10 here so 10 minus 4 is 6 and 8 minus 5 is 3 so you get 36 so you get y equals to 36 so you found answer for both the variables now it's a good time to write down your answer very clearly say well my answer is the two numbers the question now read the question once again and see what was required it says the sum of two numbers is 90 the difference between them is 18 find the numbers good you say the numbers are write down your answer what are the numbers so x is 54 so 54 and 36 correct so that is our answer it's always a good idea to check your answer also right so we'll kind of check it it can be done on the side so we'll check the answer so you can check by placing it in the second equation we used equation 1 to find the answer to check use the second equation we say 54 is x value y value is 36 let me see what is 54 minus 36 equal to right so when I do that 14 take away 6 is 8 and 4 take away 3 is 18 1 so you get 18 that's correct is what expected do you see that so your answer is correct you are sure whatever has been done here is perfectly fine so that is how you have to solve word problems and this is specific to numbers but it is a general rule it can be applied to any word problem right so what I have done here is given two problems for you which are kind of exactly same as what we did word to word the sum of two numbers is 81 the difference between them is 11 find the numbers the idea is you follow the steps write down the let statement write down your equations find a strategy to solve the equation elimination or substitution that's a big question and then solve for one variable substitute the variable in one of the equations to get the other variable check your answer write down your answer that is what you should be doing okay and the last problem on this page for you is the sum of two numbers is 62 the difference between them is 38 find the numbers exactly same question to start with so I'm just giving you a head start I'll not always give you these problems but the very first example get used to the method and then we'll move forward a bit faster thanks and all the best i hope you have understood the process and you can do well thank you